Morgan, the founder of the nation's largest personal injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan, is one of Southwest Florida's largest contributors to the Democratic Party. He is not happy with the latest shakeup on the Democratic ticket. Yeah, Wink News anchor Emma Heaton joins us now in the newsroom. And Emma, what's the issue with Vice President Kamala Harris? Yeah, well, for one, John Morgan doesn't believe Democrats had much of a say at all. And in an interview with Fox News, called the situation a coronation instead of a convention. And for one of Florida's most significant Democratic contributors, Morgan made his stance on Harris clear. He said in this interview with Fox News, the next step for him is he's out. I didn't like the idea of two or three people picking the nominee because I believe a convention would have provided perhaps a stronger candidate or it would have made her stronger. That didn't happen. And so I said, you know, I'm just gonna take my money and go home. And, and guess what? They're gonna raise plenty of money without me. They're not gonna need me one bit. My decision is you all go do what you wanna do. I'll do I'll stay home because I believe to raise millions of dollars, you have to number one, be enthusiastic. You have to believe in the person and you have to believe they can win. And if you don't have those things, you're not going to you're not going to have me. And we told you this morning, a lot of money has been raised for Vice President Kamala Harris. We're talking $81 million in a day. Morgan doubled down on his stance on Twitter and a post on X rather that says one thing is certain on this. We need a third party. Back to you.